Well, good morning guys and welcome back to another video from Real Therapy Fishing. We've gone out and bought ourselves a kayak, which is uh, very exciting. Really uh, excited to test this one out. It's a uh, Galaxy Sturgeon made by Galaxy Kayaks. So I'll show you some of its features now and some bits that we've added and some bits that the previous owners added. So we'll show you those now. So we'll start from the front of the kayak and work our way up to the back. So starting off, we've got to have the Real Therapy Fishing stickers on there, that's for sure. So starting at the front hatch, it's got a uh, removable piece in there. And a lot I've seen a lot of people on YouTube, they uh, store their wheels and that in here. Um, quite a lot of space actually. As you can see there, quite a bit of space in there. So. Um, the only downfall of this bit is, is you actually can't access it whilst you're kayaking. Um, so yeah, you don't want to put anything in here that's actually that you're going to need for a fishing trip or for a kayaking trip. We've got two rail blaster mounts. These are just the normal starport mounts. Um, these will actually be to hold the camera mount. I'm planning on uh, putting a GoPro arm up here and that will face me sitting there. And hopefully have one on, on, on like a head cam. So we can get two different angles from these uh, ports. So yeah, that'd be quite nice. Next, we have a removable cool bag. Um, this is just a Sonic, um, just standard. Not much to it, just two compartments. We then have the custom bait board. Now this was made by the previous owner, but um, I have added a couple of modifications. So this just, if you can see down there, there's two rail blaster mounts, which holds this whole rail, rail on. And the previous owner made it so it could slide, which is very, very nice and very, very handy because you can be sitting there. And as you can see there, I've, I've added the bait board. So if you're sitting there, you can just slide it forwards and then slide it back if you're paddling. Now I've added this aluminium trim. Um, and this is simply just to hold the bait bag. I've got this tied on, so if we do fall off. But that just sits nicely inside of there. And that just holds the bait bag. I wanted to be able to remove this bait bag um, for obviously obvious reasons, um, cleaning it out, etc., washing it out. Um, yeah, it's just nice just to be able to remove things. So this is the custom bait board, as you can see here. It's literally just a chopping board, and I've cut the sides off of it and stuck it on the top because that'll just prevent any juices or squid falling off of there, um, especially in rough seas. Now coming down to this side, we have a Garmin Striker 4 fish finder. These are brilliant bits of kit. Um, yeah, re really nice to have it on a kayak, to be honest. And the battery for that runs underneath here. This box here lifts up and the batteries and electronics and cables all run down here into the back of the unit. So the next thing we've added is the Rail Blaster Tackle Caddy. Um, yeah, this is really, really nice. Nice to have this on a kayak. Just holds all the equipment, the knives, etc. Um, yeah, it'll just come in really, really handy to store some equipment. 
So coming around to the right hand side of the kayak, we've got the Rail Blazer shotgun rod holder. Um, yeah, very, very nice to have that as well. Um, for obvious reasons, holding your rod, etc. I've got a waterproof case for the phone. And the PFD. There, that's got plenty of pockets in it and that, and I will actually put that dive knife on into one of my pockets because if I do fall over and there's ropes and that all in the kayak, at least I know that I stand half a chance of cutting all the ropes off my legs. So coming to the locker, this is the best part I like about this kayak. In here, I've got an assortment. This this piece actually does come out. like so and in here I've got an assortment of lead weights hooks clips rigs etc everything I need for this fishing trip so that will go in there and this has got a little lip on this here to stop this bait tray from actually falling out which is uh, obviously quite handy so the seat is a standard one from Galaxy Kayaks and the previous owner added a bit more foam on the bottom I think there it looks like he has so um obviously that's for a bit more comfort we've got with this kayak a galaxy paddle galaxy kayak paddle as you can see there so i've bought these safety straps and these just clip onto the d-rings and this just prevents your rod from uh if it does fall in the water or the kayak does end up tipping over um this will just obviously keep it close to the kayak which uh it's quite handy. I did have years ago, um, when I had my old kayak, <laughs> a rod actually did end up going in the water just out there. Um, yeah, so I've definitely learnt my lesson on that one. So the previous owner, he put a strap on here, which is actually a really, really good idea. It serves two purposes. One, if you were to fall over into the kayak, you can release that down and put your foot into it to get back into it. But also, if you're struggling to flip your kayak back over again, what you can do is lay the rope over this side if you're in the water um, you can grab hold of this handle and this rope with the other hand and you can actually pull the kayak over which will upright itself so yeah so that's a really handy bit of rope to have that um, and that just tucks behind the seat out the way for when you're fishing so I bought this really nice kayak net um, this will serve a great purpose for catching all those bass uh, yeah nice and lightweight and it's got floaty sections in it so yeah that should do the job just nicely so next up is the anchor and this sits just behind the uh, seat there so i can easily grab it and i'm going to show you this system in a future video so this has got a lot of uh, technical stuff here with running up and down this rope here so yeah that's all to come in a future video i've got a small little dry bag here um, this is just going to hold the sandwiches and the drinks for today's session. Next up we have a Rail Blazer Starport mount. Um, and this actually holds the flag, but I haven't got the flag back yet from the company that's printing it for us. So that flag will end up going in there. Um, it's, again, it acts as like a safety device so other boats and that can see you. And it's quite nice just to fly the Real Therapy Fishing flag. And of course, another Real Therapy Fishing sticker. So this kayak actually has a rudder. Um, and you can unclip this here and that pulls down a bit sandy there from where I got it off the truck and you can operate this by the foot pedals which is here so as you can see there the rudder's moving so yeah that's all operated by those two foot pedals which is really nice to have I've never had a kayak with that before so yeah really excited to try that out and underneath there is the sea tug wheels um, these are again really nice kayak wheels um, and apparently they do store down and go in the front locker so I'm interested to see how that works today um, but yeah it will be nice not to put them on the back here and actually just to put them in the front there so so this is the kayak set up it's uh, looking quite good at the minute we might add some more stuff in the future but um, yeah for now we're pretty happy with it obviously as we use it and that we might change a few things but yeah, so far, so good. So this is the kayak. I'm uh, really excited to try it out. I'm sure it'll have some great adventures in her. And uh, yeah, great thing for the channel too. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next Saturday for another video. Mm -hmm.